Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tia at B5 Designs and I wanted to come on and share some birthday tags and birthday cards that I made for my grandson who turned one yesterday and we're going to be going over to celebrate with him today. So first I want to share the different products that I used. Um, first, just some uh, ribbons from my stash and I'm pretty sure these two came from Michael's. And this one, probably Hobby Lobby, but maybe Michael's, doesn't really matter. I used a couple of these chalkboard tags from Dollar Tree. And then I used this little, I'm trying to get it to fall down, um, dinosaur stamp from Lawn Fawn. It says roar means I love you in dinosaur. It has a little dinosaur and then this little thing says roar. I used some tags and tabs thin cuts from Close to My Heart. I, oh, I think I just used one, I think. Um, and then I used some of these stickabilities. Um, balloon animals and uh, the numbers that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I used this Sizzix um, what do you call this? Die cut and it's just called Lion and Monkey and the number is 658973. It's really cuts out really cute. So I used that and then I used some of these green eyelets and then I used, I have another pack that has kind of oranges and brown. You'll kind of see it, um, but I had put that up. So some of the eyelets, of course, my chomper, eyelet chomper, whatever thing it is. And then, um, Mostly, well, pretty much all used the Happy Hooray paper from Pebbles. Um, now I do have the, what is it called? Paper pad. I don't know. I have a whole bunch of it. Uh, project pad, the Happy Hooray project pad. And I used papers out of that as well. That's a 12 by 12. Sorry about that. So, let's get on with it. So, again, this is one of those chalkboard tags from Dollar Tree. And then the balloon animals that I had in my stash. The paper, the background paper is from the Happy Hooray collection. And I just laid it down, laid the paper down, cut it out, and then put the stickers on there. There's my green eyelet and then I used red polka dot ribbon. We don't have a theme. Um, they didn't want to have a huge party. They had a party, just the three of them. And then tonight is my side of the family's party because there's a bunch of us. And then um, tomorrow she'll do a party with her parents and brother. So um, that's kind of cool. And then this one, I didn't even cover it because I thought it looked so cute. The chalkboard tag from um, Dollar Tree. And then this little zebra, I thought he looked so cute with, because he's that kind of see-through. And you can kind of see the glue runner that I used in the background. I should have thought that through a little bit better, but it's not going to matter. I mean, I'm, I'm, I put a lot of time into these. I would say six to eight hours at least for all six of these items just because I'm kind of a slow crafter and I had to figure some measurements out on a, a card and just gathering things all of that because I kind of gather as I go um, used that green eyelet now a lot of these animals had either crowns or pink party hats on them and so I just replaced it with a green party hat from this sticker collection and then I put a little jemmy on the top and then there's the green eyelet and then that yellow. I just wanted bright colors um, 
and then here's the back it just says happy day with stars from the collection so there is that and then the glue that I used I can see it kind of peeking out there um, I like the glitter glue I uh, can't remember what the name of it is I use that because I have a lot of it um, this is the one where I used the die cut tag die cut from close to my heart and this turned out so cute and then I used the lawn fawn um, dinosaur and he says roar and then I used some of the stickers out of the collection and then a little heart that I had and then I did some faux stitching. I think that makes that so cute. I should do that around the zebra. I think that would add to it. And then here is one of the eyelets from the orangey brown pack um, that I put up. And then on the back, I put celebrate and roar means I love you in dinosaur. And then I put some of those little jemmies and I did the ribbon the green ribbon all of his wrapping paper ended up being dinosaur um, and then here is a card that I made and this is with that Sizzix monkey and lion die cut and I put a one up here for number one and then I used the little flag banner from the what is it happy hooray collection and then I cut the monkey out now I cut him out it's a total of three because I wanted the red to show for his ears and then the one is kind of the outline and then I wanted another one because I cut the ears off of the one layered it in brown then layered it in red and then so that just so the ears would show and then layered it in brown again and then did the red tummy and the red face and then I put some Tim Holtz Distress Stickles on his tail. And then this Today is the Day is just from the collection. And then the little lion, I used the paper again, paper pad. And then I just stuck a piece of dark brown paper, the same paper as the monkey, um, behind his face. And it is layered again three times. And then just... It just gives them just a tiny bit of a dimension, but it's a nice dimension. And then um, his face actually adds, <coughs> maybe he's only layered, no, he's layered three times and then his face adds another dimension. And then I put yellow, let's see, I forgot to show this. Yep, just yellow stickles. Ugh, my eyes are bothering me allergies and stuff are just in full swing here in Iowa um, then I, I put the yellow stickles on his little tail and on his ears on the back I just put handmade I was too lazy to go get my handmade stamp so I just wrote it and then on the inside which I hope this stays I put in this is just alpha letters from my stash hugs kisses and then birthday wishes came from the collection and then the little balloon animals came from the collection i'm really worried about these not staying because i had to move them around i'm don't always do things really super straight but i think it turned out cute and then let's see for the outside i just put his name and i used these outline markers that I got off of Amazon and they're really cool I like them quite a bit um, yeah, I don't know with this one it's kind of silver and orange on the outside oh my goodness and then my eyeball is really bugging me this is the outside of another one I just like to kind of do different things and I put a number one on there And then I used the little giraffe from the uh, Happy Hooray collection. And I think the giraffe had a little pink crown on him. And so I exchanged it for a party hat. Now this is a random um, 
sticker that I had in my stash and the balloons also. Um, and then the little confetti pieces are all around him from the collection. I think they're so cute. And then on the inside, I just put, and it's crooked, <laughs> happy birthday. And then just a little heart. And then this last one, whoops, I got a piece of something. I made the, um, envelope and as you can see it's out of that fun paper with the balloon animals that I'm obsessed with and then I put his name on there in orange and I lined it lined the envelope and this is not paper from the collection it's just individual sheets that I had picked up both of these from Hobby Lobby I believe if it's individual sheets I usually get it at Hobby Lobby and then this one um, this is where, this is the one that took me the longest because I had trouble cutting the size of the card because I was going off of the envelope stencil. Um, I had picked up these envelope stencils from Michael's and so one pack, and I have a ton of envelope st stencils I didn't realize I had, but as I've been organizing my craft room, I've been finding stuff. So this envelope template I picked up at Michael's and then you could also get the liners. And so I picked those up and then I have a bunch from close to my heart also, but those are what I used. And so anyway, I don't know. I, I just, I knew what I wanted to do and I kind of struggled with it, but it, it's very simple right now most of my I think making cards with stickers and stuff is really fun I like to do that but I think um, I really like to do the die cutting type cards also and so anyway he has a little wiener dog and he got he actually had a green hat and I put a little yellow jemmy thing there and it says happy birthday and there's all those little confettis and then on the inside I did the top the cupcake and a party hat and then I put a one and hooray and then I just signed it and so that's it guys those are my birthday cards for my grandson's first birthday and the um, tags that I made. So I think that they will like them. I hope that they like them and I hope they keep them forever. So thanks for stopping by and I will talk to you later.